What's going on Island Hoppers? Today we're coming to you from Guanajuato City. Let's do this. Yeah, as you can see, Guanajuato is right here in the center of Mexico, about three hours away from the biggest city in Mexico, Mexico City. Guanajuato has a very rich historical past as the underground roads and tunnels around here are from the mining empire that was once here with the Spanish. So in this travel guide, we're gonna take you guys around the historical area that is considered one of the most beautiful areas in all of Mexico. So Guanajuato, very historical place. So as you can see, we are in the city of Guanajuato, but the state in and of itself is known as the land of legends. So the residents here believe in supernatural tales. So this is a very supernatural place right here. And you can see the town actually sits in a canyon ravine. So here we are at the Monument of Papilla, and this is a great place to get a view all over the city. down well it's actually a rail car with cables so you could call it a cable car or a rail car and you can see it does have a steep descent you could probably hike down this but just taking this rail car is a lot easier and faster and kind of fun Yeah, that took about uh, four minutes to go all the way down. Check the tracks right here. And once you get off that rail car, you're pretty much right in the heart of the historical area. You just walk maybe about two minutes and there you are. But you can see looking on both sides, very classic infrastructure and historical buildings. The statues on the streets here, they do stand out as well as the intricacy of the art on the cathedrals and the buildings, as you can see. Very intricate art. Another thing that really stands out out here is the amount of mariachi bands and other musical groups that hang out down here in the central area. Also, plenty of street performers. Very unique looking, exotic street performances take place down here. So Guanajuato City is considered one of Mexico's finest cities. What really built this place up was the mining that came from here. Uh, there was gold and there was silver. Two different boom towns for this place right here. Even before the Spanish arrived, the Aztecs were mining this area for precious metals and other minerals. So the area we're at right now is in front of the Basilica Coligada de Nuestra Sonora de Guanajuato. Uh, there's also a lot of museums around here, including a mummy museum. Now, as you guys know, Mexico is home to many European style uh, cities and towns, but Guanajuato really stands out as one of the most European cities in all of the Americas. Now, depending on who you ask, they'll say that Guanajuato went from a safe place to a not so safe place here recently. Although our experience walking around Guanajuato, we didn't see any criminal activity or anything that would lead us to believe that it was dangerous. But I will say that Guanajuato is one of those cities you should check out when you come to Mexico. In other words, I thought it was safe and very culturally rich. 
if you're a person who loves to do photography or take pictures for Instagram, Guanajuato is going to be a place you're definitely going to want to check out for that too. Over time, the city of Guanajuato has had several different names. The first indigenous people called it Place of the Metals. Then the Aztecs called it the Place of the Moss, like moss that grows on a tree or on the ground. Then it ended up becoming Guanajuato, which actually translates to Frog Hill. So I guess there must have been a lot of frogs here. I didn't see any when I was here. But as you can see, there's so much charm to this city. It's colorful, the pathways, the walkways, very tight corridors. Really got that old world feel still here today in 2022. So a lot of the town has these walkways that go subterranean and the reason is is because those are old mining uh, railways. That's how the miners used to get around the town through these subterranean walkways. Let's go down one right now. Yeah, nowadays these subterranean paths take you right into the roads. You'll see lots of cars driving underneath the city here. So you can tell above the tunnels, normal city business as usual up there, but underneath it's like an underground world for the cars to drive around. I found this to be so interesting and unique. You can see the variety of different stores. You have the boot store, you have the restaurant of tacos, and then right there you have the ceramics art store, and then you'll have antiques. Such a variety of different uh, shopping you can do here. And as I continued to walk around, I just found it to be so amazing how well preserved the historical colonial past this city really is here intact today considering you know the fact that there is earthquakes in the region uh, but really with modern infrastructure how well they've preserved this really did stand out to me and I just wanted to share some interesting historical facts Guanajuato was founded in 1554 and given its official status in 1741 so for many years it was kind of uh, existing as a non-official uh, incorporated town but then along with Zacatecas to the north and San Luis Potosi and Bolivia the town became one of three great silver mining civilizations so it's celebrated as the mother load or Veta Madre which was described as one of the richest silver mining areas in the world And as you can see, the streets here are very narrow, one lane in each direction. And that's because it's built in a very skinny valley. So uh, another thing that you'd like to know about Guanajuato, the people from here are called Panzas Verdes, green valleys, because of the main crops of lettuce and other greens that come from this region. 
Another interesting thing to know about this area is that the food here is some of the most unique and exotic food you will find in all of Mexico, very rich. So they've got enchiladas, stuffed chilies, which is chili reno, tamales, empanadas, and flambra estilo San Miguel de Allende, which is a mix of beef, chicken, and pork with fruits and vegetables on the dish. So some interesting facts about Guanajuato. Number one is the population is around 180,000 people that live in this valley area right here. Also, if you want to know about the weather, in the winter time, it's in the 70s. Then in the summertime, it's in the 80s. So really a mild climate right here. And the elevation up here is actually 6,700 feet. Lots of cool bars. Check this one out across the street, Bar Fly. And as I mentioned previously, there is a mummy museum here, but also Guanajuato is a town for many legends. So just to touch on some of those legends, the one that you'll want to know is the legend of Princess Bufa, who was a woman or an enchanted princess known for her great beauty and she is part phantom and part supernatural creature. So this is one of the legends that make Guanajuato special or unexplained in terms of a ghost town. Also, there is the uh, legend of the living mummy, uh, which is in the mummy house. For those of you who want to visit that, that's one of the most popular things you can see and do in Guanajuato. And there's also the legends of Santa Cecilia Castle, which is known for the stories that some people would go there to the hotel and then sometimes they wouldn't ever leave. So they just kind of disappeared. You guys will want to look into these legends when you come to Guanajuato. And as we continue to show you around the streets here, there's always something new to see on every different corner, right? But you might be wondering, how long do you need to explore Guanajuato City? Well, some people, many people actually, would say 48 hours is more than enough time to see a lot of the city. You can stay longer or you could stay less, but 48 hours is the sweet spot. After doing plenty of walking, what do you guys say we go get some food? So it's about that time we get some food. We're here at Conde Rule. It's a nice restaurant right here in the Centro Historico. And this here is a cheese kind of fondue with chorizo and tortillas. So no real veggies or fruit with this one. And then this is the enchilada. You can see there is some chunks of fruit and veggies with lots of cheese and jalapenos. 1988, UNESCO made this a World Heritage Site. When you come here, you'll definitely be able to see why. Oh, 
one point in time, Guanajuato was one of the wealthiest cities in all of Mexico and Latin America, but it was also known as New Spain. So this, because of the minerals and the metals that were coming out of these mountains right here, this was one of the wealthiest uh, cities and it manifested in what you see today with all the beautiful buildings and structures because all that wealth created this beautiful place. And as we drive through here at night, you could see it is a very colorful ambiance. It takes on a whole nother feel in the evening than it has in the daytime. But you can also see lots of taxi cabs. So as we head into the subterranean tunnels, the roads, as we go under the mountain here, we will end up driving through back towards our hotel near the Guanajuato airport. And here we go, unto the underground subterranean tunnels that go under the mountain. You can see what it looks like under here as we head out. The old mining shafts for the silver that was being extracted from this region. All right, guys, thanks for watching this episode of Guanajuato, Mexico. We'll see you on the next one.